Hi. Hopefully you're keeping fairly well. For some of you, this is the first thing you've heard from me for a little bit. And, well, the truth is, it's kind of the first thing I've done for a little while. It has been a busy few weeks or so. uh, But the good news is that I have now completed my move. Um, It has been a interesting experience i'll uh, i'll get onto that uh, but it's been busy as well um coming back to my hometown and uh taking a room that looked like this and turning it into this a couple of days of some serious hard graph but uh, has generally gone pretty well uh, i think the cherry blossom looks quite nice if you ask me we moved in about two days or so ago. This is not a complete look at everything, and uh, there's been a lot of work to have to do. But uh, if it makes anyone feel any better, at least my view's pretty good. Uh, currently living alongside uh, a canal, literally right next door. Um, you know, walk out the front door, walk 15 meters, I'm in the water. It's pretty cool. It has been kind of strange to come back to Milton Keynes, um, which is my hometown. I uh, moved away to Tamworth three years ago, uh, just as COVID started. And, well, the truth is that I never expected to come back here. Not for living, at least. I had uh, visited a few times over the past three years for a variety of reasons, family and whatnot. But uh, I had assumed that I was never going to come back here again. Um, certainly not on a more permanent basis, but here I am. It's been challenging to accept that, in a way. It's very easy to think of something like this as a a backwards move. Um, I don't think my heart was really ready to go from where I was, but I didn't have much chance of it. I also don't think I had the um, the best of shakes up in Tamworth either. I uh, I enjoyed it up there. And I'm glad I made the move, but um, I don't think I was ready to go. Not when I did. And uh, I've had to spend the past couple of days believing that I'm here. Um, it's such a strange experience. It's, it's really hard to... I've been trying to quantify it. It, it feels like... Um, the best way I could describe it is to, to, if you were like having a dream and it's somewhere that you know fairly well, maybe a, a local gathering place, a, a club, a, a venue, your work, whatever else. And there's that familiarity, like you know where you are, but something on the edge just doesn't quite feel right. and You can't quite put your finger on it. It's kind of been my thoughts of uh, of being back here. I uh, went uh, on this trip here. I uh, got my bike sorted, having a bit of a, 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 a bike around the place and just taking everything in to tell me that uh, I am definitely here. I also don't know why some of these pictures look like this. The zooming probably has something to do with that. Alas. That brings us to me and to this channel. Uh, if you can hear the reverb, that's because, uh, well, um, we're not quite finished yet. Our room isn't quite like this, but uh, it's it's a work in progress still. Um, in fact, I'm still having to dig some bits and pieces out of my various boxes to the point where I can't actually find the stand for my uh, the stand for my stand for my mic. Uh, as such, I'm actually holding it in my hand at the moment. It's here somewhere. I just haven't opened enough boxes to locate it yet. I found everything else though. Um, but of course the question is, well, what's going on with the channel? Uh, obviously I've been keeping things fairly hazy, not really knowing quite how things were going to go, but, uh, rest assured there are some things that have been lined up. There's been a fair few things that have actually come up on my radar uh, over the past couple of weeks. I haven't really been able to get hold of them. Uh, one of which uh, came up was uh, this, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is a 3v4 asymmetric that went on to a uh, technical testing over the past few days or so ago. Those of you who have enjoyed uh, Day by Daylight and played it a lot have probably heard about this game. Uh, I didn't get a chance to touch this due to me being fairly busy, but from the content I've seen... I'm quite intrigued by this game. Um, Obviously, I've put in a lot of hours on uh, Dead by Daylight, as you can see, lifetime. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe this might be something for me to take my interest. Um, You know, Dead by Daylight has 
I think largely run its course for me, and uh, maybe this is something a little different, um, and something to get my teeth into, and I'm very excited for this. So obviously, see, it's not having a couple of months, however. There's probably be a beta some point in the near future, but uh, we're not quite there yet. Another game that came onto my radar is Signalis. Uh, this is a uh, indie game uh, that was released about six or so months ago, um, and has also been taking my interest. I have been aware of it for a little while. Just uh, hadn't quite got round to it, but it was suggested to me uh, via a YouTube channel or two, and uh, the odds are that I will probably be looking to get involved in this game. Maybe I might do it on stream as part of our September and October stuff, I'm not sure, but uh, kind of a, a breed of, uh, you know, Resident Evil and obviously that sort of style, a bit of puzzle solving. Maybe it's, to me, it's a bit more like my time playing, uh, what was it called? Uh, Fear Effect, that's the one I'm looking for here. Uh, definitely a bit of vibes about that. But uh, again, one well, I'm not going to get into immediately, but something on the horizon. But one game that has taken my eyes out of kind of nowhere is this here, Trouble Shooter. This is a turn-based strategy SRPG, which is to say in layman's terms, take XCOM and insert a healthy dose of anime into it. I feel like I at the moment could really do with a much more meatier game to kind of sink my teeth into. We've kind of done a lot of lot light stuff. Uh, partially, again, this has been due to the fact of moving, and then Resident Evil 4 Remake happened. But uh, I think it's like this um, really might well appeal to me. We've had a lot of fun journeys as well with the XCOM series over the course of the years. Again, mainly for you folks sending in your officers and troopers to help with the fight for humanity. I don't necessarily know if this is going to allow the same degree of customization, but uh, I'm willing to give this game a spin. And uh, there's a couple of folks that I'm aware of played this that apparently have uh, also quite enjoyed it. Uh, the characters are fun. The story is a little scattered, maybe, but generally fairly enjoyable. But the the action, the game, very very well put together, and we shall see. This is probably going to be my first like proper local series. Um, I don't know exactly when that's going to begin but uh well this is pretty good on the horizon over the next week or so um and i'm really looking forward to it there are a few other games though that i want to get involved with before the year is out preferably uh, including some patreon requests shocking right Final Fantasy X 2's HD remaster is one that I mooted at the start of the year. Then I would like to probably take on maybe on the summer, maybe a little bit later on to the year. Uh, Troubleshoot has really taken my fancy, and it's very likely that uh, I will be doing this game on the conclusion of that series. Uh, when is that going to be? I don't know. I couldn't tell you how long Troubleshoot is going to take. I've never played the game before, but uh, I don't think it's going to be a short, short jaunt, but uh, we'll see how we go. XCOM series have varied in length. There's also been a few request series, as mentioned, including Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, uh, effectively Metal Gear Solid 4. I've never played this one. Uh, my knowledge of the series pretty much ended with Metal Gear Solid 3. And yes, I'm aware that I haven't played that. And yes, I am aware that they're doing a remake of that game as well. I don't know if I'm actually going to get around to playing the original before the remake comes out. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3 is a very long game. And um, while when I played it way back, I definitely enjoyed my time with it. Being honest, I probably, the thing I enjoyed the most was just the various conversations and side bits and pieces, which maybe isn't uh, the best bit of praise that I could give. Also, Metal Gear Rising being similar to Resident Evil 3 is both humorous and ironic at the same time. Another game that has been requested for me to play is Sleeping Dogs. Um, I never quite wanted to refer to this as Grand Theft Auto in Hong Kong, uh, but uh, a fairly entertaining game, I have been told, and I imagine it is probably going to be a decent experience. It's very likely this is going to probably come later on amongst the year, maybe as things are quieting down for uh, you know the new year and such. I'll be honest, a lot of the times at the moment, I simply don't know. And me sitting here trying to say, oh, we're doing this series at this time would be pretty hollow seeing as I've not even fully organized my own damn room yet. So I'm not going to try to uh, fool you guys in that respect. But uh, as, you know, the weeks pan out, we'll probably get a better idea of things. But uh, I think this could be a lot of fun um, and should be a good time. But one 
absolutely monster series, which has come across again via the Patreon and money has been transacted, is for Persona 5 Royale. I've never touched this series. It's uh, not my usual fare, but uh, I'm always happy to explore different bits and pieces for the right price. You understand business, right? This is a monster series. This could well be the biggest series of anything that I'll ever do, maybe in my life. Um, unless I decide to one day play Final Fantasy XII and 100% the game, simply because defeating Yaismat is going to take about a week. Outside of that, though, Persona 5 Royale is probably going to be up there. It's going to be a little while until I get around to this one, but... Uh, yeah, this is going to be on the horizon later on down the line. A very, very popular game. Uh, a lot of people have played it. It's at a, it's just a completely unique sort of experience. Um, but I've never played Persona game ever. So, uh, good place to start, right? And that takes us to the Twitch channel, which uh, has been fairly quiet for the aforementioned reasons. Last time we made a stream on this was our completion of the No Donut Challenge for Outbreak, which we did on May the 3rd, a month to the day. I'm very glad to have got uh, and seen the back of it. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of fun. But man, some of it was uh, was pretty ugly. Um, but uh, regardless, uh, I do intend to make my return to Twitch. And in fact, I'm intending to make that return tomorrow. We're not playing Outbreak, though. I need a, I need a pretty lengthy break from that game. Uh, you guys understand. It's an opportunity for me to test to make sure my equipment is still working. Also, the internet here is um, fairly new. It only got uh, laid in and installed less than a week or so ago. And as such, a bit of tech testing is required. Although I don't want to do anything crazy intensive because I'm also aware that my PC is also starting to show its age. But tomorrow, I am going to be beginning. Um, we're going to be streaming the Organ Trail, which I have not played for a good couple of years, except for me just tech testing, making sure it still worked about a week or so ago. Going to do an endless run of the game. Organ Trail is fairly laid back, and while it's not necessarily the most engrossing game of all time, it's chill. And it gives me an opportunity to, you know, have a bit more of a relaxed time. It has been a crazy couple of weeks, and there's a chance for me just to lie back and relax and reconnect to all you guys. Hopefully some of you might decide to pop around and say hi. I'd appreciate that. We'll do some more intensive sort of stuff later on down the line to really give the new internet a spin. Apparently, I'm going to be getting 110 megs up and down. We'll see about that. Now, while there are some other bits and pieces that I am looking to stream over the course of the next few months or so, including a couple of request series I've still got to feel courtesy of Starfruit, uh, there's another game I'm also going to be probably looking to stream pretty shortly after Organ Trail over on the Twitch channel. Um, and it's a game that I have not played in, I think, nearly 10 years. And in fact, was one of the first series that I ever did on this channel. And that is The Getaway. A game near and dear to my heart. Um, a great spin. If you've never seen it, you can even look at my footage that I did on my channel way, way back with some pretty dodgy recording equipment. Or you can come join me on Twitch in a couple of weeks and we can have the experience together. The Getaway is kind of take Grand Theft Auto, put it to London and turn it into a movie. It's not quite open world. It does feature uh, elements of that, but it's more of a rolling drama um, and is a lot of fun. It's literally a movie turned into a video game. That's what the developers intended to do. I think they did a pretty decent job. So I'm looking to delve into this in a couple of weeks and we can have ourselves some good times with that. From there, we'll probably look to kind of get back into the more sort of bits and pieces. But uh, it's been a pretty chaotic few weeks. I feel like I need to kind of reconnect with some roots. You understand. And that's pretty much it for this video. Um, to tell the truth... I don't quite know at the moment, really, what my future is. Um, even where I'm staying, I might be here for six months. I might be here for six weeks. I might be here for two years. I simply don't know. Um, there's a, a lot that's very uncertain and undecided, and uh, it's partially up to me to figure out what direction we want to go. 
Um, this includes also stuff for the channel, but, uh, you know, now it's not just this I do. I have to balance my commitments with this along with the Hidden Assets channel, uh, where I do a lot of work over there as well for Dune Imperium and tournaments. Uh, we've got another one that's going to be kicking off probably in about six to eight weeks or so that is going to be absolutely huge and is probably going to take a bit of my time. And there are worlds where I might end up going overseas because of it, um, which is exciting and also kind of crazy. Um, but, uh, you know, that's the way it is, and, you know, that's commitments for you. That's, that's how it works, and I've got to get adjusted to that. But it's been tricky to shake off some, um, I don't want to say negative thoughts, but um, just part of me doesn't feel like I should really be here. It's it's really confusing. I I suspect if I'd have just gone to another new town that I'd never been to before, it would probably be much the same as what it was three years ago. But returning back to where you'd lived, it's it's so easy to frame as kind of a, a failure on oneself, especially when you didn't really choose for it to happen in the first place. But um, realistically, where I am is making the best of a uh, decidedly bad situation. And uh, I I can't lose scope of that, and I try not to, but it's... It's a tricky mindset to get past, and uh, I don't know, maybe there's some of you folks that can kind of relate to that. Um, maybe so. But that's going to do it for this. I've got a room to sort. I've got a mic I've got to find a stand for. I've got some bits and pieces to do. So uh, hopefully I'll see some of you guys tomorrow on Twitch. And if not, then uh, keep an eye on the channel. We'll be getting some content up onto the YouTube in the next next week or so, I would like to think. I am definitely excited for Troubleshooter and just a media game to get involved to. Something a little wacky, but decidedly fun. And you know what? I feel like that I could really do with that. Something kind of wacky, but something really fun. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you soon.